Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn chapter light shadows and reflections. First we understand what is light. Light is a form of energy. Light helps us to see the objects around us. During the day it is sunlight that helps us to see the objects and at night it could be an electric bulb, candle, torch or tube light. Any object that gives out or emits light is called a source of light. The sources of light can be placed in two groups, natural sources and man-made sources of light. Natural sources are those objects which occur in nature and emit light naturally, example sun, stars. Man-made or artificial sources. These are man-made objects that emit light, for example, electric bulb, candle, torch, lamp, and tube light. Luminous objects and non-luminous objects. Depending on whether the objects emit their own light or not, they can be placed in two groups. First is luminous objects and second is non-luminous objects. Luminous objects are those objects that emit their own light. These objects are visible even in dark as they give out their own light. All natural and man-made sources of light are luminous objects. For example, sun, stars, glowing electric bulb, lighted candle and gas burner. Non-luminous objects, objects that do not emit their own light. They only reflect light coming from a luminous objects. Objects are not visible in dark unless light falls on them. Example, table, chair, paper, pencil, plants, animals. Transparent, translucent and opaque objects. Depending on the nature of object, light may pass through completely, partially or not at all. Accordingly, objects can be placed in three groups. First is transparent objects, second is translucent objects and third is opaque objects. Transparent objects. These objects allow light to pass through them completely. Other objects can be seen clearly through them. Light is clearly visible through them. Example, clear glass window, car, windscreen, glass tumbler and spectacles. Translucent objects. These objects allow only some light to pass through them. Only a hazy view of other objects is visible through them. Only dim light is visible through it, for example, frosted glass and butter paper. Opaque objects. These objects do not allow light to pass through at all. No object is visible through them. No light is visible through it, for example, brick wall, cardboard, book, wooden chair and metal sheet. We can understand all three types of objects by this picture. The transparent objects allow all light to pass through them completely. Translucent objects allow only some light to pass through them and opaque objects do not allow light to pass through at all. What is a shadow? What happens when we stand in the sun and look below on the ground? We see a dark patch on the ground. This is called a shadow. Means a shadow is formed when an opaque object blocks the light. Three things are essential for the formation of a shadow. First, opaque object to block light. Second is source of light. Third is screen on which shadow is formed.
shadows of objects in nature are longer at sunrise and sunset and shortest at mid afternoon when the sun is overhead size of shadow changes with the distance from the light how light moves light moves in a straight line when we shine a torch in darkness we observe a straight beam of light in the dark area similarly we observe a straight beam of sunlight entering the room through a window this property of light traveling along a straight line can be demonstrated by a small activity take three cardboards of equal size and make a hole in each cardboard then put all the three cardboards in a straight line on the table and fix a candle on the table and light it try to see the flame of candle through the holes as shown in the figure you will be able to see the flame and it shows the light travel in a straight line reflection of light it means when a light rays falls on a shiny object the object send the light ray back this is called reflection in other words when light rays hit an object and bounce off it is called reflection when light falls on a mirror the mirror reflects the light at the same angle at which it hits the surface i hope you understood this chapter very well and if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching